Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. Today we are on recreating Hypixel part 8 and it has been two months since I released part 7. I do apologize once again for the delay. Since probably no one remembers what we were doing in part 7, let's go over it real quick. We set up our core profile data system which pretty much um, allowed us to set up a data system where we saved our user data like our name, our rank, our amount of money, our XP into our MySQL database. Now, in today's video, we are going to take what we did last time and we are going to add ranks to it. So we're actually going to create the rank system that the players are going to have or our data is going to have. We aren't going to really do anything in game this this video. It's mostly going to be coding in here. And then in our next video, I'll cover how you put that in the chat format when we start setting up our chat system. So this video, we're just going to go up setting the rank system and setting how we're going to set up permissions as well throughout the plugin. Um, thank you again for waiting. If this looks a little different on the screen, it's because it's a new IntelliJ update. Um, I think it looks good. The new UI looks really cool. So we're just going to stick with it. Anyway, let's get started. So we're going to create inside. We're going to organize this a little bit later, but we're going to create a new class. And in this class, it's going to be an enum and we're going to call it rank. Just keep it very simple. It's going to be an enum, um, enum named rank. And inside of here, we're going to list all of the ranks and we're going to do a couple different things. So we're going to first we'll set what we want our um, this class to kind of define for itself. Um, we are going to do private string. We're going to have the rank name is going to be one thing. We're going to do private chat color, and we'll call it color. We're going to do private Boolean. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do bold or italicized. We'll just initial it like that. And then we'll do another private int, and this one's going to be the level. And you'll see why we're going to do level in a moment. Make sure you import chat color as well, um, just from bucket not bungee, just like that. So what we're doing here is it's going to be name, color, if it's bold or italicized, and then the level of the rank. And we're going to just call this overall class. We'll do rank, string name, chat color, color, boolean, bold, and then once again, boolean, and then italicized. And then we'll do int level, just like this make this a new call here. And then we do this dot name equals name, this dot color equals color, this dot bold equals bold, this dot italicized equals italicized because shortened, and this dot level equals level. So you may be wondering, what in the world does this mean? This is what's going to be required when we actually set up our um, enum a list of ranks. Um, so we're gonna, every rank will have to have a name, color, it has to be true or false for bold or italicized, and it has to have a call for the level. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a searching for if the rank actually contains a name that you set, or if it is the name, and then we'll do a check if it's higher or lower, or if it's equal to, same with getting prefixes and all of that good stuff. So let's do that now. Now, all we're going to do and start with is we'll start with the overall search. So we'll do a public static. And it's going to be a Boolean because it's going to return true or false. Boolean contains. And you'll see why we're going to do this in a future video, but we're just going to keep going from here. So what this is going to do is we're going to return true or false. By default, we're going to return false because there's no reason for us to return true. And then we're going to do some stuff above here. So what we're going to do is for every rank, so we'll do rank ranks of ranks.value. So we're going to grab this um, this enum right here, rank.value. It's going to grab everything that's in this enum and then we're going to search through it. And then if rank.name and then we'll do equals since we're going to grab the name and make sure it's ranks.name because we're grabbing the name equals the name of the rank that we're checking for we are going to return true. So let's go over what this just did. We went ahead and checked if, when we call this, if this rank is going to be containing the name that we're grabbing from our overall list of ranks, and we'll return true. Otherwise, we'll return false. That's simple. There's our check for that. Now we're gonna check if it's higher or lower. So we'll do a public Boolean. And what we're gonna do is, is higher, and then we'll grab the rank, so rank, and we can just call it compare or something. And then we're gonna do return. And then it's gonna be this dot level is greater than compare dot level. 
just like that. And we'll do the same with lower. Public Boolean is lower rank compare. And then we'll do return this dot level is lower than compare dot level. And these are all just calls that we may or may not use in the future, um, but I'm just adding them in just in case. The main one we're gonna use is a public Boolean because this is what we're gonna actually use to check if the level is equal to or higher for permission checks. So I like to call it is higher or equals to, and we'll pull the player because we can send them a message. We'll pull the rank and I like setting a callback here. So we'll do Boolean callback. So you can decide to send a message or not. And you can just import player there. And what we're going to do here is we're going to do if callback and this dot level is less than a rank dot level. This is where we're going to send a message. So we're going to do player dot send message. It's a normal send message. We'll grab our color class. Color dot, I believe we called it, we got to check what we called it over here. We called it color dot translate color dot log color dot main. So we called it color dot main. So we'll do color dot main and make sure you import the correct color and not org dot color. So color dot main string permissions, or like you could call it rank. I'm going to call it, I'll call it permissions. And then I'll be like, you need, we can do color. You need to be rank and then we'll do space rank dot get name which we haven't done yet but we'll go ahead and add that in in a minute and i'm i like the rank name if we're following hypixel to be non higher case mindplex would make it higher case or uppercase hypixel will not so we'll just keep the name so you need to be ranked blank to use this command just like that so that will be the message it's going to send and we'll return false, obviously, because we're not actually going to allow it. Now, if you do another one, if this dot level equals this rank dot level, this is going to be true, return true. Otherwise, it's going to return false. So let's go over what this just is because it's a little bit confusing. It is grabbing if the player rank is higher or equals to whatever the rank is. If it is, it will return true. If it's not and callback is false, it will send the message. But if callback is not false, it will not. And I messed up here. It's supposed to be exclamation point equals rank dot level. So it does not equal and it's enabled callback. Otherwise, if it's not equal, it will always return false. So you don't need a redundant check there. Pretty simple, right? And you can do is lower or equals to as well if you have a reason for that. I don't, but I will still throw it down here in case you want to use it for your server. If for some reason you're checking that like that. Um, to save a little bit of time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the code for get prefix. You can go ahead and copy this down if you want. I am going to change uh, bolded to bold and italicized to italicized because I remember above I did uh, limit it to just be quickly and easily done. Uh, so. You can just switch those around, but you can see if it is bold and italicized, it will add those color codes. If it's just italicized, it will do that. And if it's bolded, it would just do that and return the translated code for the prefix. And then same thing with the others. It's very simple to get. Um, and to keep this easy, I'm just going to add a uh, getter at the top of this class, um, because what that will do is it'll allow us to use the get name and stuff without specifying it at the bottom. Um, we've went over that in a previous video. So if you're interested on how that works, I will um, leave it linked down in the description or you can check out the playlist. Um, so those are all the checks. Now we can actually go into detail on how to add ranks to here. We're gonna add a couple ranks um, just to keep it easy. We're gonna keep the default rank at the bottom. Every other rank will go above it. So what I mean by this is we'll type default, which will be the name of the rank. And then the name, we're not gonna have any tag. So we're just gonna leave it blank. And then remember bold is one, false for the second one. And then the level for level, we'll just keep it one. And I'm forgetting the color, my mistake. So color, we'll do chat color dot gray because the default color will just be gray. This is gonna be the bottom of the list here. So we have our default rank. It has no name. It's not gonna display anything. It's chat color is gonna be gray. It's not gonna be bold. It's not gonna be italicized and it's level is one. We can copy this and post right above it. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna change this to a comma. 
and this is going to be level two. So let's say you wanted this to be your mod. I think Hypixel does green. We'll set it to mod. Should it be bold? It should. Its level is two. So what this means is if it's higher or equals to, it's going to take that level. If you say it's higher or equal to default rank, everybody above will have that permission. If you say it's higher or equal to mod, default will not, mod will. We'll do the same with admin and an owner above that. So we'll do owner at the top. It will be level four. Obviously, we'll add all the ranks in later. Owner will be red. And then we'll do admin, which is the same thing. Admin will also be red. Just like this. And that will be level three. So what we have done here is we have added all of our four ranks um, that we're just going to have by default. We're going to have our default rank, our mod rank, our admin rank, and our owner rank. We have level one, two, three, and four. These levels are going to be modded and bolded. These will not. And then we can check it in any other class using this. Um, so we don't really have a way to test that at this point because I haven't set it up yet. Um, but what you would do is theoretically if we had our command system set up we had everything else set up all of that good stuff um you will just call that rank class and then you will check if it has a um if it has a permission um so for example this is what you would do in that class you would grab the profile data you would get the rank you'd say is higher or equal to player rank admin should it call back and send a message true and it should return because you're not going to have an error with it um, so very simple way of doing that there. Very cool, very easy. Now, to keep things simple in our player data over here, remember we never set up our rank in here. So we're just gonna add to the top private rank equals rank.default. So by default, you're always going to have that um, default rank, whatever that may be. And you can see here, our rank by default is none, but to keep things easy and to make it just so it fills it in, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna grab whatever your default rank is, for whatever you want and just fill it in here so rank dot default to string will be the default one if they don't have any data otherwise what you're going to do is when you save your data down here um, wherever we have our save data it's right here so what you're going to do is whenever you have the rank set you'll just go ahead and set that we'll go over that in a future video setting up rank commands but it's pretty easy we have saved our rank default to here and now we are grabbing them all in here and we can use permissions and stuff so that is it for this video. Hopefully it made a little bit of sense if you have any development knowledge. If not, you can stay tuned for the future videos where I go over how to actually set up chat and prefixes and everything with this. Um, hopefully you did enjoy. Hopefully it was clear enough and we'll go over more in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. On the pavement, yeah, yeah. No sleep in my body. Last night got me wasted. Yeah, yeah, ain't nobody calling my phone up just to